الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد um, إن شاء الله today we're going to start uh, a kitab written by the author العلامة محدث الدنيا شيخ محمد ناصر الدين الألباني the book in which he authored تلخيص الصفة صلاة النبي okay brothers what are we going to do here we are not going to do explanations and fiqh and all of this and this is the call of fulan and this is the call of allan لا. this book right now we are studying is called تلخيص صفة صلاة النبي I am only going to mention what each word in this book means and if I feel like there's a point that's not clear, just clarify and move on. It's like you reading a book in which you understand. That's the way, we're reading it together. But I'm just reading it to you in, in Arabic and then I'm explaining it straight away. Okay? Word for word translation, that's what it is, inshallah. It's not a sharah, uh, it's not nothing like that. Um, quickly before I start that, a minute or two, let me just quickly mention the Sheikh, he authored two other books which, are, which are, we need to know in regards to Sifa Salat al Nabi. Um, this kitab, Sheikh Al-Albani authored, it's not the only book he wrote in regards to the Salah. As I said last lesson, he authored a, and I said I'll define the books a bit, is Sheikh, he wrote three books in the how the Prophet used to pray. He wrote one which is three volumes. That's the biggest one, three volumes. I have it in my maktab, I'll look for it later and I'll show you all inshallah. It's three volumes, which inshallah we're planning to study. Then this, it was a bit too big and you know, he thought, okay, you know what, let me take out everything because the three volume one is all about the hadith and the shaykh goes into the chain and the authenticity and the kalam regarding it. And so it's a, little, a bit expanded onto. A student of knowledge who's starting to learn how to pray doesn't really need all of that yet. So the shaykh said, what did he do? The one that every one of us here right now know is called Sif Salat al which is one volume. He brought it together and that's the one a lot of the people study. When he did that one, Again, that's the middle version. It's called the Awsat, um, which is Sheikh done the Sharah. Uh, sorry, that he authored, which is basically all the chapters. He brought it together with the Hadith, but not all the gradings and the excessive gradings that he did. But the chain of narrations are in there. This one, what did he do? He took out all of the Hadith. So there's no Hadith. Ah, it's just the wordings, and we're going to stick with that. If I bring the hadith in there, then it's going to be the second book that we're studying, sir. And that's not the goal. So I'm going to mention all the words in there and what he said and what he meant and how he said it. And then when we finish that, next book we will go into the evidences. And then the next books we will go into the authenticity and the chains and the, and, the, and the views of the scholars regarding. So let's follow the book as it is and not, let's not go too deep into it. So everyone, if you open your book and you have with you, we start in the Ilal The Sheikh started his book by saying, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. The Sheikh, he started by saying, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. And starting with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, when writing is the Sunnah. And it's what the Prophet Sallallahu did when he used to write letters. He used to do the Alayhi Salaam. In the Sulh al Hudaybiyah, the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, he wanted to write Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim before Suhail ibn Amr refused. The Quraqf Hafir Quraysh, he said, write what we know. And then what he, the Prophet said, Mada aktub? What shall I write? Aba kayf aktub? He said to him, write Bismikallahumma. That's what we know. So the Prophet wrote Bismikallahumma. I told Ali, write Bismikallahumma instead of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But the Prophet said, he wrote Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Then the Sheikh started by saying, Inna alhamdulillah, he praises to Allah. Nahmaduhu, we praise him. Wa nasta'inuhu, we seek refuge, uh, help in him. Oh, we seek him. وَنَسْتَغْفِرُهُ We seek forgiveness from him. وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ We seek refuge in Allah مِنْ شُرُورِ أَنفُسِنَا The evils of our nafs, our souls. وَمِنْ سَيِّئَاتِ أَعْمَالِنَا And the evil of our actions. مَنْ يَهْدِهِ اللَّهُ Anyone who Allah guides فَلَا مُضِلَّ لَهُ There is none to misguide him. وَمَنْ يُضْلِلْ And anyone who Allah misguides فَلَا هَادِيَ اللَّهُ There is none. وَأَشْهَدُ I bear witness. أَنْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهُ That there is none worthy of worship. إِلَّا اللَّهُ Except Allah. وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ That 
so this la ilaha illallah is the word of what kalimatu tawhid i bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except allah wahdahu is affirmation emphasizing on what you've already said la sharika lahu is again affirmation of what la ilaha so there's two affirmations and there is two affirmations sorry two emphasis sorry and two emphasis two emphasis for the affirmation and two emphasis for the negation وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَا I also bear witness أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم عَبْدُهُ he's his servant so he's not ilah he hasn't reached that level and he's Rasul he's better than the rest of the ummah so he's in between that level بَيْنَ الْأُلُوهِيَّةِ بَيْنَ الْإِلَاهِ and بَيْنَ أَنْ يَكُونَ عَبْد normal servant the Prophet is higher than that so he's been uplifted by message and he's been put down by servitude أَمَّا بَعْدُ to proceed أَمَّا بَعْدُ is a word used to what? انتقالوا من أسلوب إلى الآخر to move from one position of what you were saying on one speech to another to follow, to proceed فَقَدْ اِخْتَرَحَ عَلَيَّ أَكْثَرُ مِنْ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ أَخٍ it has been so I'm going to ask everyone word for word what it means فَقَدْ اِخْتَرَحَ عَلَيَّ it was put to me عَلَيَّ me, on me أَكْثَرَ مِنْ أَخٍ more than one brother أو صديق or a friend أن أقوم for me to stand بتلخيص كتابي for me to summarize and abridge my book صفة الصلاة النبي the prayer of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم described من التكبير from الله أكبر from الله أكبر إلى التسليم to السلام عليكم which is the last final point of the salah كأنك تراها as though you can see it as though you can see the Prophet praying from the beginning to the end. They requested for me to abridge the middle one. The middle one. Because we said the first one was the Asr, which is three volumes. And then it became a volume, in which he abridged the big one. And now he abridged even that one even more. So they said, he, they brought this to me. وَاقْتِصَارُ And to sum, summarize it. وَتَقْرِيبُ عِبَارَاتِ And to bring the wordings much closer. Make it easy for the people. إِلَىٰ عَامَةِ النَّاسِ To the general mass like us. وَلَمَّا رَأَيْتُ When I saw اقتراحاً مباركاً When I saw this suggestion, this thought to be a blessed thought and a blessed suggestion وَكَانَ مُوَافِقًا لِمَا كَانَ يَجُولُ فِي نَفْسِي And it was intact in that which was also in my mind that I used to think about مِنْ زَمَنٍ بَعِيدٍ for a long time I also used to think of that to summarize that book but then when the people came and asked me it, it went hand in hand exactly what I was thinking. Shajani dalika, my wanting and their suggestion pushed me and made me dalika ala an aktani a lahu kalila min wakti that I should suffice some of my time for it. Al my time al muzdahimi my time that was very busy my busy time very busy to take some time out and summarize this book. بِكَثِيرٍ مِنَ الْأَعْمَالِ الْعَلْمِيَةِ With the excessive works, knowledgeable works that I was doing to take some time out from that. فَبَادَرْتُ I hastened. Look how the person should hasten to good. فَبَادَرْتُ I hastened. إِلَىٰ تَحْقِيقِهِ To fulfill حَسْبَ طَاقَتِي In accordance to my ability. وَجُهْدِي And my ability. طَاقَتِي and جُهْدِي is the same. سَائِلًا الْمَوْلَىٰ Asking Allah. سبحانه إكزولت وتعالى أن هاي هي إز أن يجعله خالصا لوجهه that he makes it sincere for his sake وينفع به إخواني and he benefits my brothers المسلمين my Muslim brothers around the world وقد أوردت and I have submitted and transmitted فيه in this book بعض الفوائد some benefits so this is an additional thing I did to this book by adding some form of benefits الزائدة that is extra على الصفة in the description. What description is he talking about? He means the Sifa Salat in Nabi, the second type. I've added additional benefit to it. He said, uh, Sheikh Albani carried the saying, he said, وَقَدْ أَرَدْتُ I wanted. I'm not, sorry, وَقَدْ أَوْرَدْتُ I transmitted فيه in this book بعض الفوائد some form of benefits. الزائدة extra benefits. على الصفة over the Sifa that I previously read. So he's referring to his other kitab, Sifa Salat al-Nabi, which is the middle one. This book has extra benefits I added to it.
So what is it? It's summarized and there's also some type of benefit in it that you won't find in the other book. تَنَبَّهْتُ لَهَا He said, I became alert of these benefits. So after he authored the book, he it came to his attention. Meaning the other book. And I found it good. ذِكْرَ had to mention it here. في أثناء التلخيص when I'm when I try when I summarize it, I thought these benefits are needed. I should I should mention it. كما عنيت عناية خاصة the way I also gave extra or more emphasis بشرح بعض الألفاظ trying to explain particular words الواردة that are transmitted here in this book or brought in this book في بعض الجمل الحديثية some wordings of أحاديث أو الأذكار or even the adhkar that people should do when I when I mentioned some of them. And they are very rare. وَجَعَلْتُ I made He's talking about the book. لَهُ anawin I made titles. رَئِيسِيَّ Each part I made a title for it. So you know which chapter you're studying. What is this about? I made uh, headings for it. وَأُخْرَى كَثِيرًا And other things that are a lot. جَانِبِيَّةٍ تَوْضِيحِيَّ Side matters that are clarifying. وَأَوْرَدْتُ تَحْتَهَا And under those headings and those points, I brought مَسَائِلَ الْكِتَابِ بِأَرْقَامِ مُتَسَلْسِلَةِ Numberings and figures next to it. وَصَرَحْتُ I also clarified directly بِجَانِبِ كُلِّ مَسْأَلَةٍ Next to each topic, مسألة, uh, ruling, uh, issue بِحُكْمِهَا It's ruling. Whether it's wajib or sunnah, he mentions it. Whether it's whether it's sharp condition or it's a pillar rukn, he said I mentioned that. That's what he does. Mir ruknin, whether it's a rukn, or wajib, or if it's wajib, wa ma sakatu anything I'm quiet about. I don't say it's a rukn. I don't say it, or I don't say it's a what a wajib, and I'm silent about it. Fahuwa min al sunani. This is from the sunnans. It's a sunnah. Wa baghaha some of them. قَدْ يَحْتَمِلُ الْقَوْلَ بِالْوُجُوبِ Some of them can sometimes be wajib. The ones I'm silent about. وَالْجَزْمَ بِهَذَا And the reason why I'm silent is why he's telling us, and he didn't say which of the two it is. He said because الْجَزْمُ for me to put my hand down and say this is wajib or this is sunnah, both of them are un, I'm unable to affirm. أَوْ هَذَاكَ يُنَافِ التَّحْقِيقِ الْعِلْمِ And it goes against the way I mentioned the matter. Now, inshallah, he's going to mention what is rukun, what is shart, what is wajib, and what is sunnah. Those four everyone needs to know when they study this book. Okay? So now he mentions it. And this is not in his other books. It's only in this book. Alhamdulillah. He said, warruknu. Ruknu means what? Huwa ma yatimmu bihi shay'u. It is the thing that matters become complete with it. Alladhi huwa fihi. And it's in that matter. It's inside the action. وَيَلْزَمُ مِنْ عَدَمِهِ And with its absence, it necessitates وُجُودُهُ its presence. بُطْلَانَ Nullifying مَا هُوَ رُكْنُ فِيهِ The pillar in it. The absence of that thing will necessitate the existence of the salah to be nullified. That's what he means. Okay? كَالْرُكُوعِ Like the ruku' It's a pillar. مثلاً Because it's in the salah. فَهُوَ رُكْنٌ فِيهَا It's a pillar in the salah. Is the ruku' outside the salah or is it inside the salah? يَلْزَمُ مِنْ عَدَمِهِ بُطْلَانُهَا Its absence, the ruku's absence, will necessitate the nullifying of the salah. وَالشَّرْطُ The shart. كَالْرُكْنُ It's like the ruku'. What does he mean by it's like the ruku'? In terms of both of them will nullify the action if, they don't, if they're not found. That's the thing that they have in common. This is one of the things you need to learn. What are these two things or these matters the same at and what are they different in? A pillar and a condition, both of them, they share one thing in common. Which is what? Both of them, if that matter, it's not found, then the action will not be accepted or is nullified. But the difference between the two is, pillar is in within the action and condition is before the action. That's it. You see? A pillar is in and within the action and of course logically it makes sense right pillar inside the house and a condition is prior a prerequisite before the action okay and he'll mention that such as the wudu the wudu is it before the salah is it after the salah before, before. Ah. 
Karrukni. It's like the Rukun in terms of the Butlan. Remember that Karrukni, the Mushabaha. The resemblance he's putting here is between the Butlan. Which is what? Adam Wujudihi Butlanul Amal. The nullifying of the actions connected to its absence. They both are the same in that. But the shart will be outside the action. Like the wudu, in the The salah will not be permitted and it will not be accepted with that. Tahara. What is wajib now? It is a matter. It's affirmed. And it's, it's found in the kitab and the sunnah an order regarding it. It's been ordered by way of kitab or the sunnah. وَلَا دَلِيلَ عَلَىٰ رُكْنِيَّةِ And there's no evidence to show that it's a pillar. وَأَوْ شَرْطِيَّةِ Or it's a condition. There's no evidence for it. وَيُثَابُ فَاعِلُ The one who does it will be rewarded for it. وَيُعَاقَبُ تَارِكُهُ The one who leaves it will be punished إِلَّا لِعُذْرٍ Unless he has an excuse for it. That's a wajib. صحيح. These definitions I'm going to ask you all inshallah. وَمِثْلُهُ Unlike wajib is al-fard. Al-fard is the same definition as wajib. To the Jumhur except the Hanafis. The Hanafis, they see the fard and the wajib to be different. For them, it's, it's, it's different. Like in to the Jumhur of the A'immah, Kamalikiyat wa Shafi'iyat wa Hanabilat wa Ghairim, wajib and fard is the same. It's the same. وَمِثْلُهُ like wajib is what? الفرض فرض التفريق بينه وبين الواجب اصطلاح حادث لا دليل عليه شيخ ناصر said to distinguish between it بينه أي الفرض to distinguish between the فرض and the واجب and to say they are different اصطلاح it is given a terminology a definition hadith that is newly invented la dalila ali there's no evidence to distinguish it from one another it's a, it's a newly invented matter wa um. sunnah and sunnah ma wadaba nabiyyu it is the thing that the prophet then continuously alayhi min al ibadat from the from, from the ibadat daiman continuously aw ghaliban or most of the times وَلَمْ يَأْمُرْ بِهِ أَمْرَ إِجَابٍ And he did not order it in a forceful manner. وَيُثَابُ فَاعِلُهُ The doer of it will be rewarded. وَلَا يُعَاقَبُ تَارِكُهَا The lever who leaves it off will not be punished. وَلَا يُعَاتَبْ And he's not blameworthy. MashaAllah. Those are the four we need to know before we study the book. وَأَمَّا الْحَدِيثُ الَّذِي يَذْكُرُ بَعْضَ الْمُقَلِّدِينَ As for the hadith, that some of the blind followers say and they narrate ma'zuwan ila nabi ascribing it to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is what man taraka sunnati anyone who leaves off my sunnah lam tanalhu shafa'ati my shafa'a my intercession will not be given to him he will not receive my intercession because he just said right now the sunnah if you leave it will you be blamed for it can you be blamed for it so some people would say that this hadith, what are we going to do with this hadith? Sheikh Nasir said, this hadith that the blind followers transmit to one another, فَلَا أَصْلَ لَهُ عَنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ It has no authentic transmission to us from how that the Prophet said it. The Prophet didn't say this. So nobody can be blamed for it. وَمَا كَانَ كَذَلِكَ And anything that is like that, فَلَا يَجُوزُ نِسْبَتَهُ إِلَيْهِ Anything like that weak narration that's mentioned, one should not ascribe it to the Prophet sallallahu Fear of saying for the Prophet that which he didn't say. فَقَدْ قَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمَ Because the Prophet said, مَنْ قَالَ عَلَيَّ Anyone who says about me, مَا لَمْ أَقُلْ That which I didn't say. فَلْيَتَبَوَّأْ مَقْعَدَهُ مِنَ النَّارِ Let him prepare his place in the hellfire. You see? And that shows you the love of the Shaykh of the Sunnah, how he defended it. صاحب السنة هو رحمه الله تعالى وإنما نا وإن من نافلة القول and one of the additional points of speech that should be said أن أذكر دع I should mention أنني لم ألتزم فيه that I have not I have not لا التزام meaning force myself to follow تبع لأصله Following the original, which is 
madhab and muayyan. I haven't forced myself. I mean, I am not confining. That's my. That's it. I'm not confining myself upon one particular madhab in this book. من المذاهب الأربعة from the four مذاهب المتبوعة that are followed. I have not confined myself in following one particular madhab. Ah. وإنما but rather select فيه I have followed مسلك أهل الحديث. I have followed the path of the people of hadith. Yeah. الذين يلتزمون الأخذ بكل ما ثبت عنه صلى الله عليه وسلم من الحديث. Those أهل الحديث who have confined themselves, forced themselves, made themselves. Follow that which has been transmitted to them authentically from the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. ولذلك and because of that كان مذهبهم أقوى. The people of Hadith their madhab is the strongest. من مذاهب غيرهم from other than them in madhab. كما شهد بذلك المنصوفون the way it has been witnessed by those who are منصفين is a person who is just honest. من كل مذهب from all مذهبs every مذهب anyone who's منصف will affirm that the people of حديث are the strongest in terms of their مذهب from those who affirmed it with insaf and honesty and said the people of حديث are the strongest is العلامة the excessively knowledgeable one أبو الحسنات اللكنوي الحنفي he said القائل the one who said وكيف لا why are they not good كيف how can they not be Meaning the people of Hadith, how can they not be the most strongest in Madhab? وَهُمْ وَرَثَةُ النَّبِي And they are the inheritors of the Prophet, حَقًّا, truthfully. وَنَوَابُ شَرْعِهِ صِدْقًا And they are the vice of the Prophet ﷺ's legislation with truth. حَشَرَنَ اللَّهُ حَشَرَنَ اللَّهُ May Allah resurrect us فِي زُمْرَتِهِمْ in their ranks. وَأَمَتْنَا May Allah kill us عَلَى حُبِّهِمْ وَسِيرَتِهِمْ Loving them and taking their path. ورحم الله الإمام أحمد بن حنبل. May Allah have mercy upon Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal. إذ قال when he said, دين النبي. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم's religion is what? دين النبي. The Prophet the Prophet Muhammad's religion. محمد أخبار. It is news is a narration. نعم المطي. A great is the riding beast. للفتى. For the young one. الآثار. The best form. Of riding beast to reach all over the places. The best one of it is taking the texts, the evidences, the sunnah. La targabanna. Do not choose over and like over the hadith wa alihi and its people. Do not choose think anything over it. Farrayu views and minds and thinking is laylun. Ha logic is night. Well hadithu naharu and the hadith is daytime. Broad daylight, clear as that. ولا ربما جهل الفتى. Sometimes a person may be ignorant of a matter. أثر الهدى. The the text guide it guide the text. والشمس بازغة and the sun is out there in the open. لها أنوار it has its نور. Meaning the the person will be misguided without the text of the سنة. So this quote. دين النبي محمد أخبار نعم المطية للفتى الآثار. لا ترغبن عن الحديث وأهله أما وآله فالرأي ليل والحديث نهار ولا ربما ولا ولا ربما جهل الفتى أثر الهدى والشمس بازغة لها أنوار. Written by من؟ Written by who؟ الشيخ محمد ناصر الدين الباني دمشق. He wrote it in his place دم دمشق دم د دمشق نعم محمد ناصر الدين الباني. استقبال القبلة facing the قبلة facing the قبلة. إذا قمت when you stand أيها المسلم إلى الصلاة أو يو مسلم if you stand up for the صلاة فاستقبل القبلة face towards the قبلة حيث كنت wherever you are في الفرض in the mandatory prayer والنفل and in the highly recommended prayer وهو ركن it is a pillar من أركان الصلاة from the pillars of صلاة استقبال القبلة is it a pillar the the hanbalis and the Shafi'iyah both believe that it's a shard, not a rukun. But Sheikh Nasir chose it rukun. But remember, this is khilaf with tanawur. It's khilaf by wordings. At the end of the day, they both agree on what? That if you leave it, it will not be accepted. Whether it's before it, prior to it, it doesn't matter. The answer is that it won't be accepted. Naam. Alati la tasihu salatu illa biha. It's a pillar from the pillars of salah that the salah will not be accepted. 
salah without it. So when a person f prays the salah and wants to pray the salah, he has to face the qibla. Whether that salah is what? Wajib. A mandatory prayer. Whether that salah is what? Highly recommended salah. That person has to face the qibla. And it's a pillar from the pillars of salah. If the person doesn't, his prayer is not valid. It's invalid. Good. Now he's going to tell us four times when it's permitted not to face the qibla. 